Hello Flustu, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you the stitching results uh, of uh, my um, stitching autumn 2022, meaning like which um, or yeah, which, which projects were finished this autumn. Um, I used to do such a wrap up every season, so I try. Uh, if you look on the videos I released so far, I don't have on all of them, but I try because this is um, helpful and useful and nice, first of all, for me <laughs> as a teacher to see what I have done in a certain season. And also it's interesting for me because um, I tend to be a lot uh, seasonal uh, teacher. It means like I stitch Halloween and Halloween, you know, like Christmas and Christmas, something like this. So that's why for me also it's interesting what I have uh, stitched uh, during uh, that season of that year. Uh, so. I won't stop uh, very um, in detail like for each works because uh, I have videos on my uh, channel. I try, I try, <laughs> honestly, I try in uh, videos to tell you as many details as possible about the works, these works which you'll see today. So if you want to find out more details, of course, you are, feel free to go to any of the videos and see the details of these works. Okay, let me start with uh, the butterflies from Nora Corbett. Uh, these are not kind of, uh, I wouldn't say they are su such uh, autumn designs, but they were starting the end of summer. I had inspiration and I had them very much, uh, how do I say, I had very much eagerness to stitch uh, and I stitched them and they were an early September finish. But yes, they were like um, started uh, in, what? in uh, summer, sorry. So the first one, this is the gold butterfly. This is a free chart, uh, freebie, which is on Mirabilia official uh, um, site. But in my case, this is a conversion. So I have the golden one, it's stitched. I stitched it like last year, I think. But I wanted to have the conversion because this one goes very much with one of the dragonflies. So if you'll go back on my channel, you'll see. I explained there what colors I used, how I did it. If you are curious, just teach yourself such a butterfly as well. Uh, then come the two pairs of butterflies, which also come in conversion. They are being stitched, uh, okay, not to the thread, I would say, but uh, mostly I uh, guided myself to a conversion made by an Ukrainian stitcher. So I chose, it's silks, here it's cranic and the threads, the colored threads you see besides the uh, the dark brown one, they are silks, but um, I chose the silks which I had in my stash, so I didn't choose exactly the silks she chose, of course, didn't buy silks especially, especially for, this, uh, for this design. This is how it looks like. So these are butterflies of the meadow, if I'm not wrong. And then come these butterflies, which I don't remember how they are called. <laughs> Yeah. This one is a pretty big one, by the way. I remember stitching quite a lot for this one. I mean, a lot of stitching. This one and this one also. It's a very great beauty. This one. So this is how they look like. And they were the first finishes of the autumn because I didn't want... You know, it would have been stupid like freezing them and stitching them like next... Let's say spring. I don't know. Uh, then it comes autumn. <laughs> so I have um, Oak Hill House. This is a Debbie Mom design released by Mill Hill. It comes in chart and you have to purchase yourself the fabric and uh, it's not a kit, I mean. So here everything is stitched according to the uh, chart. So it's uh, uh, Lavender Sunset uh, Jobelaine. I remember already the num name of the fabric. And um, here how it looks like. Uh, the uh, treasures here are these leaves. They are, I remember this one being being bought as bit pack. I remember the, this one. This is how it looks like. The nice, nice one. Um, I have, by the way, this is the the third. I have uh, autumn. Uh, autumn. This is autumn. I have um, winter, and I'm finishing them. By the way. 
Uh, then the beautiful finishing because this one I managed to finish. Let me show it like this so you'll see the bell pulls as well. This is a September song by Just Nan. It was stitched according to an original embellishment pack with the chart, and I had such nice um, bell pulls, and I finished it in such nice bell pulls. Um, my um, great wish is to find for this bell pulls a use. Um, of the of some uh, Christmas designs, winter designs. This is how it looks this side, because it would have been nice to use them like all four seasons for different uh, designs. You know. Okay, this is how it looks like. If I'm not wrong, this one was stitched everything according to the key. I mean, like the fabric, the colors, everything. Yes, except I remember I changed the color of these leaves because we were going very much into the same color as fabric. I told about this in my video. I remember now. I remember now. This is how it looks like. Nice one. Um, then I have uh, the uh, Witch Upon a Star. This is a Mill Hill design from one of their booklets, which also was framed, framed, finished, you know, with a bell pull, such a pumpkin bell pull. I still think I need a tassel here. I'll have one for sure next year when it's going to be on display. I told you all the details about this one, but changed the fabric, changed the size, <laughs> changed a lot of things. And this is how it looks like this side. You see, it's, it has this kind of, I don't know how they're called, already showed this fabric. Um, some small designs. I have also some small designs. Let me show you. So. I started in September with uh, Shepherd's Bush. Um, uh, how this one? Roll, <laughs> roll. I tend in. Um, uh, I tend to call them candies <laughs> with such a roll. This is a school roll, the school roll, and it was stitched in September, like as a um, how they say because an event happened. David in 2022 went in year one yes and the flag is not us is uk you see <laughs> i changed here nice nice very very nice i like the ribbon i already said that this mathematical ribbon where can you see ah it's alphabet as well abc if you can see come on see it's abc and then it's uh, two plus two equals four nice really really nice Last year, because we started school last year, not this year, it was um, a Mill Hill uh, design uh, school also, and uh, because it was a reception last year, now it's year one. And uh, also from, uh, if we speak about uh, Shepherd's Bush, I have such a tray, Midnight Garden tray, I would say it's a Halloween one. And these trays will come, this is the first one from the range, the next will come. Of course. Um, then uh, from Just Nan, I have two designs. I have such a biscornu, the tiny biscornu, owl biscornu. Uh, these ones were in my stash for a couple of years, maybe more than a couple of years. But now, finally, the time came. So these are the owls. And this is Mr. Nutley, which had problems with finding himself a, an acorn hat and butt. He got a new one from this season's release. <laughs> nice one. This is Mr. Nutley Owl. And I have such a owl pin, which usually goes here. Uh, then I uh, consider this water being very nice and, uh, how to say, uh, good for me because finally, finally, I started uh, and tried um, the hard anger technique. I uh, wished a lot to try this one, but was afraid all the time that I wouldn't manage to do it. But I did it. So this is um, cross and patch. I'm a bishop design uh, over the river through the woods. Homeward bound, I think it's called. Over the river, it's what it says here. <laughs> I tend to mix the title and uh, what is written here very beautiful so um i told in detail about the uh, choices i made here because of the choices of the fabric 
how the work went on, but I cannot cut the hard hunger neatly, but I will learn. And here it's such a scene, which is extremely beautiful. I wanted to finish this one in a bell pool. I even made uh, such a um, uh, strawberry to put like on the bottom, but I think it's too big, this one. I would like something smaller or nice, nicer, but still this strawberry is going to be left as an autumn decoration and um, this is how I made it you see and here I uh, I learned how to do the buttonhole stitch because this one is is made hardanger and then cut it's nice it's going it was a nice how do I say tutorial lesson for me for myself and of course I will keep this one for myself speaking about this one if you remember um, I didn't frame it because um, initially I ordered such fabric. This is dark, dark red wine, I would say, for this one. It it looks okay, but, uh, you know, when I uh, made this one, I just realized that I don't want so much wine. I don't want wine. <laughs> oh, my God, how it sounded. I don't want uh, the wine color underneath this one, even though it looks beautiful. Didn't want to finish it having just one color and ordered the color Rust which I like a lot, this one. And look how it looks like. I think it goes much better. I don't know, I think it goes like, let me put it like this, you see? I think it goes much, much better with the colors which are here. That's why, that's why this, this color of fabric underneath is going to be left. Still thinking about uh, a tassel because it's going to be a tassel and uh, if to use or not to use a cord. Because this one for sure I'm going to to finish into a bell pool. Don't know when, but for sure I'm going to finish it. You know, now I don't feel so much. I don't have so much inspiration in finishing. And um, I tend to do everything in my um, cross stitch with inspiration. Because if there is no inspiration, um, I don't want to, how do I say, make myself do this thing. Because after that, I'm going to feel bad when, like, if I'm going to... Um, make myself finish this one into a bell pull when the time come will come to finish another something else into the a bell pull i will uh, struggle with it you see but if i i am in the good mood in a couple of hours i do it and uh, i do it without having a sewing machine i, I, I would rem remind you that <laughs> important thing okay uh, next one is the shoe from uh, bobby threads which also was a recent finishing this is how it looks like i told in the video again all the details and about this web spider web stitched with such a nice thread a very nice design again not finished into anything because i expecting myself to finish it this one meaning like not in a frame yeah i hope for for the next halloween this one is going to be ready and um, the last one, probably. Do you see it all? Yes, you see it all. The last one, which was finished on the 10th, in the morning of the 10th of November. In case you didn't know, the 10th of November is uh, Cross Teachers Day, International Cross Teachers Day. And yes, this is a Jeanette Douglas design. See you together. I have all the eight parts. Stitch them as a sampler with like some like misunderstandings in in the beginning my misunderstandings but i finished it and i have it and it's nice and um, it would be even nicer if one day it would be on display of course so um yes this would be all the designs which i have um, finished because not all of them were started uh, in autumn for example this one was started in summer as well so um, these were all the designs finished by me uh, in this autumn. I am happy. I am okay with their number. For me, it's it's okay. I don't have the wish of, oh, I wish I had more. No, it's okay. If there were less, again, it's okay. <laughs> Stitching is not, uh, it's not a job. I don't have a number of works to finish. And um, yes. The next uh, to come are the Christmas and winter designs. And of course, there, there are going to be new projects because um, winter is coming, Christmas is coming, most importantly. And of course, I want to stitch uh, 
winter and Christmas designs. So today I wanted to show you which are my um, planned designs, but of course, you know, like plans are plans, but what really happens is another thing. But nevertheless, I will show you what I have been planning to stitch. So, um, first of all, I want to show you Four Seasons by Debbie Mom. Um, this one, uh, the Winter Pine Hill House, would be the last design from this series. I have uh, I, I started uh, in spring with spring, and I stitched the other three designs, the other three seasons, and this one would be the last. And that's why I'm presenting you the first, because this one will close a series. Um, it, it's going to be stitched on uh, Lav Lavender Sunset Job Lane, uh, hand dyed. Uh, those who already watched this uh, uh, series of designs, you probably know that they are stitched, uh, speaking about the fabric, they are stitched two by two. So spring and summer, they are on Bluebell uh, Job Lane and uh, um, autumn and uh, winter, they come on uh, Lavender Sunset. Uh, they are being stitched with uh, DMC threads. I have the threads prepared here. You can see that I have the uh, bobbins and I have uh, new ones. New ones are uh, here because um, some of them are already finishing. You see, for example, this one. And uh, um, when I um, pulled out all the projects I want to stitch, if they are not, if they are not a kit, they require DMC threads. First of all, I checked uh, if I have extra skeins for these threads. If not, um, I um, like put down a list to order them because I'm not ordering one by one. And the same thing was done with the with the Mill Hill beads, by the way. So, uh, and uh, also if maybe one or two colors are not here, it's because they are in a parallel process, also Christmas process. And when stitching, for example, this one, I don't know which one I'm going to start the first. Um, if uh, there is a missing thread, I know to look in uh, the other boxes with the also um, ongoing uh, projects, kind of this. Uh, this one requires, of course, beads, and uh, this would be the design which requires the least... Um, how they say number of color of beads i don't say at least beads because i don't know the number of the beads maybe it's going to be more than in the others um so it's going to be this uh, gray one it was in the other designs as well this is zero zero one hundred and fifty and this one is going to be only in the um in this one the road which uh, goes to the house then it's going to be the uh, red one, which was used in the others as well, but it's going to be a little. As far as I see, it's going to be the door and uh, the chimneys, the two chimneys, just a little bit. The white one, the uh, famous 00477, which is used in many designs. It's quite a popular color, the pearl, white pearl one. This one is going to be a lot as far as I see, because it will go here in the snow and on the uh, snow, which is on the roof of the house. And the only petite which is used here is the crystal one. It's 4161. And I ordered a new box because this one is not so much. It's going to be here as far as I know. And speaking about the treasures, three, three treasures are required here. It's the uh, red uh, bird. It, I think it's a cardinal. I don't know why. Here it is. This one you can find on one to three stitch, so it's not out of pr production, out of... You can uh, you can see this one. So it's uh, 12.050, if you ask the um, number of the um, DMC um, of uh, Mill Hill um, treasure. Then uh, it requires such a moon here. Uh, the moon is 12.184. This, this would be the face. And uh, there is a bunny, a little bunny which is here. And this bunny, you will find one, one, two, three stitch, but uh, you'll find it in white because this is the only color it uh, it is sold now. The one which is here, the cream one, I don't know how to call it. That one is out of production. Nevertheless, I have it. I found it. And uh, as you can see, it's a Mill Hill uh, box, but it doesn't have anything here. Because this one was taken out from um, a Mill Hill kit, which is out of print. So um, I bought, um, you know, like the mini banners Mill Hill kits they have. 
I bought that uh, kit for a good price just because inside of that kit I did I don't like the um, the design so um, I don't I didn't buy it to stitch the design but I bought it to use it as a donor because um, there was the star which I used already for the um, Halloween uh, witch well, witch upon a star um then um, it had this uh, bunny which was very difficult for me to find by the way and i was the bunny was the first reason i bought it for the star came after i just realized that i can can use the star as well and i'm going to use the uh, fabric there because the fabric also i, I tried to buy it separately but we don't sell uh, the, that kind of fabric with uh, red edges you know so the fabric also is going to be used for uh um, for a winter, for a Christmas uh, design. Um, for the rest of the designs from this series, I managed to buy the um, um, the treasures, uh, the original ones, because there are two designs, the autumn one and the summer one, if I'm not wrong, where the treasures are also kind of out of production, so you have to look for them. But I found the bead packs for the, those ones. That's why I was lucky, I would say. And this bunny was the only one which I was like missing the um, this color. So it's not a tragedy. Of course, you can buy it in white and put here. It's the thing just that uh, the snow is white and the bunny is going to be white. But none, nonetheless, it's going to look nice. But now that I found it, I found it. So I have all of them, the original ones, I would say. And speaking about Mill Hill, about beads and about treasure, um, I was asked in the comments and um, I wanted to show. Because showing it's better than explaining in 1,000 words. I was asked how I organize my Mill Hill beads. And um, I showed, of course, in other videos, but I don't mind repeating myself. First of all, what I wanted to tell you is that I have such a Mill Hill, um, how do I say, catalog which uh, is very cheap, but is very, very useful. First of all, it has the treasures. So besides the beads, it has the treasures. And I use a lot to stitch with the treasures. And if they are out of production, for example, they say that they are out of production. You see? And um, here are the colors, the uh, code. It's very useful. For me, at least, it's very, very useful. It has one more page. So it has all of them, absolutely all of them. And uh, if I want to replace, if one of them is out of production, I want to replace. Of course, they don't show the exact color. I will tell you for sure. You see, like the bunny. This bunny comes just in two colors. It's 12, 135 and 12, 192. I needed this one. I couldn't find, but I found that one. So you can see a lot of... Um, replacements and good things in case you work uh, you used to stitch designs with glass treasures uh, then it's the beads um, yes again it doesn't show the exact exact but more or less you can realize many things you know when i organizing my um, petite beads i realized uh, that uh, there are not so many numbers of petites. Look, this is petite and this is petite. And that's it. The next of them are like pebble, uh, big pebble, smaller pebble, and so on and so, so forth. You see? I didn't know that uh, there are some little petites. And there is like one more page here. Size 6, size 8. And that's it. Of course, it would have been nice to put them in a... You know, it's an idea. I'm going to... You use something not to okay information and this is a page which shows the um, newly appeared bids if i'm not wrong the new releases so this is by which out imports of course so this one helps for people who work with bids and treasures this one helps and the organization itself uh, the first thing i bought like in the beginning of having more and more bids it was this um, plastic um, box it was from um, aliexpress and uh, it wasn't uh, expensive uh, the uh, principle of working of these boxes are like the tic tac boxes you know i don't use tic tac um, like mentos <laughs> things for a long time but this this would be the thing they're not bad uh, but they are not uh, big enough and they are not um, 
very comfortable to use, I would tell you. Um, here, now, what I have organized, actually, it's my uh, seed beads, petite, petite seed beads, like the, the smallest ones, you see? Ah, this is bigger, sorry. And um, this is how it looks like, you see? And the thing is that uh, they come with the stickers. In the beginning, I was uh, sticking here, the sticker and I was writing here. When you want to choose, it's very uncomfortable because you, you don't see the sticker, you know? That's why I um, doubled the number of the beads. I took a Sharpie pen and I wrote here again the number of the beads. Kind of in the beginning, try to arrange them like, uh, for example, 40, 0, 0, 2, 0, 40, 0, 0, 6, 5. Uh, according to what I had, because I don't have like all of them, but with but surprisingly, I noticed that I have quite a lot of uh, petites. So if I would fill this box totally, uh, it would be more than enough for all the petite beads which Mill Hill has. I decided not to buy something else because um, for petites, this one are okay because um, they are small and here you can uh, put, uh, I think, up to three or four pack packages of petites, you know? So this one is going to be okay. So far, I won't change anything in the organization of petites. So I'm going to fill in and write here the their number. This one is going to be enough. And it's compact because this, for me also, it matters not to use a lot of space. For the other beads, the bigger beads, as I used to, to call them, I have such kind of organizers. This kind of organizers, they are a replica of Daris uh, organizers. Um, Daris uh, took it out of production. They are organizers like this, but nevertheless, um, when uh, I saw this kind of organizers from Daris, they used to be pretty expensive. It seems to me they were like 50... $50, around $50, if I'm not wrong, and they were not sold here. So locally, I couldn't find them. So if ordering somewhere uh, abroad, and if uh, the um, um, item is big, you know that the postage is more expensive. And when uh, I saw in a video of an Ukrainian um, stitcher a couple of years ago, she bought such a replica from AliExpress. Very good quality. It is not cheap. It's half price. The uh, it was at least I remember half price of the Daris with the. Um, I think I didn't have to pay for the. It came from China and uh, it came very quickly. Um, it was around twenty pounds that time, and twenty pounds that time it was around like twenty five dollars, if I'm not wrong. So half of the price of the Daris organizer. Inside uh, the quality of the plastic, they come in. Um, um, uh, they come very well wrapped. They have a like a paper box, normal one. They come very well wrapped. Um, in a video of uh, purchases, I showed this one. If I am going to find that video, I'm going to leave the link in the info box and you'll see because there I presented the box as well. I don't have any pictures to attach here to show you and I don't remember how it's called, but I'll find that video and I'll um, attach it in the info box and you'll see how it looks uh, the box. Because if you look at the box, you see what it's written on the box because it's English, it's not Chinese. You just uh, can, you can look like a I'm sure that they, now they started selling it on like uh, Amazon, on uh, eBay, your local eBay. Um, I haven't looked so far because um, I don't need one more. I have two so far. So what did I do? I bought one and um, all the beads I had, I uh, organized here. These ones are enough. Look how they are being opened because all the time I forget how they are opened. You go here and you do this, you see? So it's very good to pour the beads in to take them out, like uh, put pour them in an organizer you're going to work with. Um, they are the clasp when you close them, it's very good. Uh, they have these um, um, stickers. I use the stickers, but they are um, here the space. Again, you have to use it on top because the space you have to see it. I use the stickers, though some of them start to uh, here not to be very well. So far, I will stay with the stickers. If it will go bad, probably I'll write with the Sharpie again. Sharpie is my salvation. Uh, the uh, numbers which I don't have here, it means they are taken out for, um, uh, for uh, like, uh, projects. 
but um, I started here organizing them like from the very beginning, you know, like you see it's 00020, 00, So the ones I had, I tried to organize them in the order as they come. So that when I look for a project, I would see like in the, like you go in the library and you look alphabetically, you know, something like this. So this one was the first which I purchased. I... Um, uh, the beads were bought and they were used and the leftovers, I all the leftovers of the beads I put here. Even if I have a little, let me show you a case. For example, this one. You see how little I have. This probably is either um, a leftover from a meal hill or maybe I used it for a um, um, project of mine and I have so little. I don't worry because there are projects when you need literally like 10 or 20 beads and it's enough. Or if I'm going to need these beads for another project, I'm going to, I'll, I will see that I have a little, I have just a little. I will uh, buy one more like uh, box and I will uh, pour it here. If I won't need it for anything, I just won't need it for anything. Sometimes it helps to see the color of the beads because uh, you can choose, uh, for example, if you need like five or six beads and you need a color which is next to the color you need and you don't have it, you can use the next uh, number of color things like this. And when this one was full, I uh, purchased, the, purchased the second one. I decided buying them like uh, while I'll, uh, or how would I say, buying them uh, when I need them, you see, something like this. So this is the second one and I have just this one filled in. So, but I uh, will say that here it's just the, uh, how would I say that, I call them big beads. <laughs> which is not correct. I have just, um, where they are, size 11. The seed beads size 11, only size 11. Though I already have um, Miyuki beads because I started like um, um, stitching uh, Chatelaine designs. I have treasures and I haven't organized them here. So uh, I think uh, I'm thinking for future organizing the Miyuki beads and the treasures also in this kind of organizer. So not having like more, how to say, uh, sizes of organizers. So this would be uh, the um, answer of the question, how I organize my, uh, my beads. And um, next, what I want to stitch, this is um, the Shepherd's Bush Tray Series. Um, I already have uh, the Halloween, uh, Autumn Halloween Series, and it's going to be the next one, which is the Christmas one. This is the red tray, beautiful one. They come as a um, kit. This is Merry Little Christmas. And um, the, um, um, how do I say, the fabric is, here is uh, kind of gingerbread uh, color. The little threads it usually has, two uh, buttons, because all of them have two buttons, and a little needle. This one is being stitched easily, nicely. I hope it's going to be okay with it. This is how it should look like. At, at least the previous one, it was a very nice uh, stitch, except the fact that I changed their two colors, because I didn't like the brightness. Uh, the uh, project itself, it was very nice. And the next design uh, from uh, my seasonal series, which I want to stitch, this is going to be the Tiny Christmas Biscornu, this one. I already started stitching this uh, Tiny Biscornu uh, uh, in autumn with the uh, Owl Biscornu. This one was the first. Here it is. And uh, this one, the winter one, it's a Christmas one. Here is the embellishment pack. Also, it has this uh, ribbon. This one also had ribbon, you see. Uh, three colors of uh, seed beads, petite seed beads, and there are like two uh, beads, bigger beads, which are going to be used here in the center. And they're different. One is crystal and one is with an AB color covering. And uh, it's just DMC threads. I have prepared them already here. I'm not sure if it's all of them. Uh, if some are missing, it means they are in, all, in the other projects, as I said, also winter projects. And the... Um, uh, fabric which is recommended. This is a uh, picture this plus gingerbread Belfast or Twigart Antique Almond Belfast. So this one Antique Almond by, uh, by Twigart it's out of production as far as I know because I remember that I needed this uh, the same um, fabric for the Santa mouse 
and um, I couldn't find that one and I found out that that one is out of production and it was the time when I bought a, a picture with plus gingerbread and I used for that Santa and I still have so this one is going to be enough for uh, for this kind of um, tiny bis biscornio and it's going to be enough for at least one more mouse I think I have one more mouse in my stash which has to be stitched on this color I think I'm not sure uh, but, you know, um, the thing is that I am not a fan of Picture with Plus uh, fabric uh, due to the um, dye which they are using, they are kind of shrinking, you know, and um, I remember very vividly from uh, the stitching of the mouse that uh, the 32nd count used here, it was a little bit, the, the cross stitches, they didn't look uh, like the 32nd count size, they looked a little bit smaller, you know, I don't know, the, nevertheless, the colors, they would look very beautifully on this one. I was thinking of changing for something lighter, maybe the same, I don't know, um, vintage country mocha. I'll see before starting, I'll, uh, I'll decide exactly what I'm going to, to use for this one. And of course, you'll find out. And uh, the next design, which I want to start, this is a big project. And uh, I'm not even sure that I'm going to finish this uh, uh, winter season, this design. This is Lavender and Lace, this is Secret Santa. And uh, this one, uh, I wanted to start even um, like last uh, winter season, but the thing is that I had it um, ready for start in, uh, in the end of January, and I thought it's not a very good, uh, uh, how do I say, idea to start a Christmas design uh, in the beginning of February. Because for me, these designs, if, if it's uh, February, uh, they don't go very well. Because November, for me, it's the best, uh, uh, the best um, time to start the Christmas. And I had all the, all the materials. This one was, um, how do I say, hard find, as it has many things which were out of print, out of production, and I had to look for them. First of all, I would say that um, this design from uh, Lavender and Lace, I haven't noticed until I saw it being stitched on um, uh, Instagram. Because when you see the threads arranged on the fabric, you already can realize how beautiful the design is. I was, I fell in love instantly and I said that I want to stitch this design and uh, started to look for it and I realized that it's not going to be <laughs> an easy task to, first of all, to get together the materials for this one. First of all, I had problems with finding the um, chart itself. It seems that, that char this chart at that time it was out of the print. I don't know if they reprinted it yet. I found it like a leftover in a shop, so finally bought it. Um, it was sold on eBay, you know, like opened, good, uh, like you could read it and you could, uh, could stitch according to it. Um, they started selling it uh, more expensive because uh, found out that this one is, was out of print. But I said finally and hopefully, and I found this one in a shop and I bought it. Then when I started with the materials, I realized that this is not going to be an easy an easy task. The uh, easy task was finding the uh, um, fabric according to the key. This is uh, Cashel, this is Weigert, and this is uh, color dirty. Uh, honestly, in the beginning, I was like, um, how do I say? I was wondering and I was doubting that uh, this would be the right color. But when I saw being stitched on uh, uh, other colors of thread and being stitched on the one which is recommending according to the key, I decided that I will go with what they recommend. So I bought the piece of fabric and I won't wonder about it anymore. Then uh, it's used the DMC threads, which they are not a problem. I just pulled out from my boxes and they don't look very well, but nevertheless, I have them. Uh, then um, design is stitched, I would say, with uh, cotton threads, but it's stitched with uh, cotton threads by DMC and cotton threads by needle paints. Uh, those who stitch for a long time and were in like you know about lavender and lace, about uh, told in a garden, what else it's there, butternut road. You probably know what needle paints is. Uh, these are um, threads, at least as far as I understood, threads which were ordered by Marilyn Levitt in bloom. Um, it was her personal order because she couldn't find this um, 
colors, these shades in the DMC threads. Uh, at the time when she ordered them and they were made, uh, they were be they were sold in all the shops. For example, in UK, they used to cost one pound ninety five. Uh, then um, they stopped producing them and they became rare. And of course, the prices went very high. And the thing is that even for a high price, now these shades, at least, because these are these, sh these shades are more rare, I would say. Uh, they cost a lot. For example, one thing like this, I saw it even for $20, if I'm not wrong. If I'm not wrong. So this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy, believe me. So the thing is that I tried. I tried to find the threads. I found them. Even I found like two skeins of, uh, for example, this one is needed two skeins. And this makes me very happy. These are not my first needle paint threads. I have some leftovers. A few... Few um, um, skeins are, are full, but some of them are started. They are, they can be ha half, more than half, uh, very little. I bought that lot on our local eBay, and I bought it for um, um, Celtic ladies, um, summer or spring. Which of them? One of them is stitched with. Uh, I know autumn as well, but autumn I'm not going to stitch with needle paints. I have I'll have a conversion for that one, and I bought them for that lady. Um, I knew that it wouldn't be enough, but the lot was very, um, how do I say, uh, very good uh, as a price. Now, buying these ones and having the same colors here and there, I hope very much that I will have leftovers here as well, and if, if they will be enough for the lady. I hope. I hope a lot. <laughs> uh, here it should be enough, because I have, uh, the, I have all the colors. Uh, then... Then you need sparkling threads. You need three colors of uh, cranic. So it's choose. Uh, cranic comes in number eight, very fine braid, not four, but eight. So this is the same color. This is uh, 307. Uh, this is 326. This one. And this one is uh, 203. At the time, uh, like in the beginning of last year, or it was in the first half of last year, when looking for this one, I remember that I had uh, problems finding them. They were out of production, something like this. After, Kranik uh, started remaking them, because if I'm not wrong, if I'm not wrong, all of them now can be found on Lunch of Free Stage. So Kranik, I think Kranik now is not a problem. When I was looking for it, it was a problem, because I had to look in several shops until I found it. Then uh, there are more beautiful threads, Rainbow Gallery Petit Treasure Braid, um, two uh, golds, so this is PB01, and they say to have three skeins, I have three, I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of them, but I have, and PB03, they say two, this one is uh, new, this one, it was started for another project, I took it to finish it, in case it's not going to be enough, I have more, so PB03, I have more, so for sure, it's not going to be a problem, PB01, I think I also have more, and uh, Whisper, yes, the beautiful Whisper, number 88, which is going to be used, if I'm not wrong, in his um, hair and beard, like this one, and if I'm not wrong, in his uh, um, Santa hat, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and two color of beads I recommended. So this is 02063, the matte red, very beautiful by the way. And this uh, 02011, this is gold, but this is this kind of gold. And you know, I was doubting, mm, it's not a nice gold, things like this. I took also this one, the classical one, it's uh, 557, but, you know, then I realized that actually I will need these gold beads on the um, Christmas tree, like in the star here, and the effect of like sparkling gold, this one is the best, so no, I won't change it, because everything is very well thought here, I want to say that it's not, but it is very well thought here. So yes, it was a plan for last year, didn't do it, was waiting for November, November came, and I want to start this one. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it like this winter season, but if I'm going to stitch at least half of the design, it will make me... And the next design I want to start, this is, um, again, a just Nan, this is Christmas piece. It's a design which I like a lot. This beautiful design uh, used to be out of production. 
and I'm saying used to be, because um, as just non lovers probably already know, it was um, uh, reprinted and um, you can buy it, um, which is a great, great joy, because um, this one used to cost quite a lot of money, which it was quite how they say, say sad for stitchers who wanted to just stitch it uh, but i'm not going to stitch the reprint i am going to stitch how i used to say uh, from scratch <laughs> because um i uh, managed to get all the materials before finding out about the reprint okay first of all i found the chart on our local ebay for i would say very very little money when i saw it i bought it like immediately because I um, I love this design, and when the uh, chart came, like in my hands, I said that this is the time. It was a couple of months ago, three months ago, I think. I said that it's the time for me to kit this design and to have it ready for a Christmas stitch. So, according to the key, uh, this design uh, asks for either we uh, 28th count, either Wichelt and Tick 10 linen or 28th count uh, light uh, mocha shell. Uh, light mocha is not out of print, so it can be purchased and I have it. So this is how the color looks like. I'm going to use the shell uh, um, fabric. Uh, then um, speaking about the um, threads, it asks for DMC threads the usual one again i'm not sure that if all the colors are here they can be in the other um, winter designs it asks also uh, for um, uh, dmc pearl eight number eight white blank this is i already had this one in my stash um of course they tell you that if you want you can stitch it in like um DMC, or you can stitch it in uh, Soie d'Alger, in, so in silks. Nobody says no about that one. Um, I will stitch it in DMC. Also, you will need a uh, Kranich. This is a 200C, number four braid. Um, honestly, when I um, saw that I need a Kranich here, I looked in my Kranichs, didn't find it, and uh, googled it to see what color is it. I was very surprised when I found, I saw this color. It's a very... First of all, it's like a blending filament. It's very thin. It's not uh, even if it's number four. It, ah, it's quartz. Sorry, it's not not number four. It's quartz. Sorry, two thousand five. See, it means it's quartz. It's uh, it's thin, and the color is nice. It's a kind of combination between black and um, um, black and um, gold. Nice, very nice. This one. And uh, besides this, to if we speak about the embellishment pack, what the embellishment pack is made of? It is made of two colors of beads. The beads are petites. This is 4479 and this is 4557. A very, uh, how do I say, um, a very used pair in a lot of designs of Just Nan. I mean, this true, which the color, colors of petites by Mill Hill. And you also need four uh, things like this. They are called, this ones, they are called Heishi and they are being sold by TerraCast and they cost like very little money. Um, I didn't, I was not sure about the diameter of these ones and um, I asked the stitcher from Canada who has the original embellishment pack. So she counted the, she measured, sorry, the diameter and I purchased them. They were they are needed. This for Heishi. The um, way of putting them in is very nice. They're going to be here. They come like this, and in the middle they come with a small bead. They are like um, how they say uh, kept in place with a small uh, gold bead. It's going to be very beautiful. So this is the whole embellishment pack. This is all you need for embellishment pack. And of course, I thought about finishing, and as you know, the seasonal um, designs uh, as uh, these ones, as uh, this kind of uh, samplers, for me, um, now the best variant is, um, how do I call it, uh, Bellpool? I already bought the Bellpool itself. This is a Bellpool by Permin. Permin. Um, this is the packet. Um, I would uh, have loved 
to finish this one in the gold one which I have for the uh, uh, song uh, September song uh, but that one is too small even the uh, stitched work doesn't fit the, that one you see but here I have the thing I, I can stitch this one and I can leave like uh, at least uh, half an inch like other side each size to give it like kind of space so it's going to be this one also it's beautiful I chose to be gold it's not it's a simple one it's not so with so many details and things but it will go okay because there is gold here and there is gold in the cranic this cranic so i hope that i'll stitch this one quite quickly and i'll finish it and uh, it's going to be a christmas decoration for this christmas and uh, that's everything about my big large nice uh, plans for this uh, winter stitch I hope you liked the video, I hope it was interesting for you, and see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye!